Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and on this video I'm going to show you how to move from Android to iPhone. Uh, we're going to use an app called Move to iOS and this app is created by Apple but we are not going to install the app on the iPhone. We're going to install the app on the Android, all right? But first of all, let's configure the iPhone. In this case, I have an iPhone SE 2020 and my iPhone is already configured. So with this app, you cannot use the iPhone like this. You're going to need to restart it as factory default settings. And how can you do that? Settings, go to general and select reset. From here, you're going to select erase all contents and settings. But before doing that, I suggest you to do a backup of your iPhone. And here's an option, backup, then erase. But in my case, I'm not going to do it, but I'm just going to say erase now, all right? Erase iPhone, erase iPhone. It's going to ask me for my password. And then the iPhone is going to be erased. So now that the iPhone is reset, we need to configure the iPhone, right? You're going to select English, United States, set up manually. And you're going to have to log into a Wi-Fi. It says it might take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. In case you just bought a new iPhone, as soon as you turn on your new iPhone, it's going to be like this. That's why it's called factory reset. Some people are going to ask me, and what happens if I don't want to reset my iPhone? If you don't want to reset your iPhone, you're not going to be able to use this app. The app move to iPhone. And there's this other app called copy my data that doesn't require you to reset your iPhone, but it doesn't transfer the apps. So it's up to you. I'm going to put a link in the description also for that app. So here you're going to put a continue data and privacy continue touch id we're going to set up this later set up touch id later are you sure you don't want to use touch id yes i'm sure don't use create a passcode i'm going to say don't use passcode don't use passcode and this is the windows that we were looking for it's called apps and data and there's an option here that we're going to use it's called move data from android so look at this guy, it says move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. Download the Move to iOS app on your Android device to get started. So that's what we're gonna do. In this case, we have a Samsung Galaxy Ultra S20. We need to download that app, right? In order to download apps, you need to be logged in to your Google account. So open your Play Store, and here you're gonna look for Move to and here it is, the first result, move to iOS. And you're gonna install the app, and it's already downloaded pretty fast. Open, and here it is, move to iOS. Use this app to copy messages, photos, and more from this Android device to a new iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. I'm gonna click continue, terms and conditions, agree, and then this app is gonna ask you for permission to access your photos, contacts, messages, and you just have to say agree, okay? So it says allow move to iOS to access this device location while I'm using the app. Allow move to iOS to access your contacts, allowed. Calendar, allowed. Photos, allowed. Allowed move to iOS to send and view SMS messages, allowed. To continue, turn on device location. You go to settings and you're gonna put location on. And it's asking to send app usage. I'm gonna say don't send. And now it says find your code. If you don't see a code on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, make sure you are in iOS Setup Assistant and have selected Move Data from Android. So that's exactly what we did. We are on Move Data from Android. Okay, so we are pretty much ready. Once I click Continue, I'm going to see a code here that I'm going to have to enter on the Android device. But before that, I want to do something with the, with the Wi-Fi. Yeah, so you're going to go to Connections. You're going to go to Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi, so click on settings, and you're going to forget it. So now we have the Wi-Fi on, but we are not connected to our Wi-Fi. Okay? And what is the reason for that? Since the iPhone is going to create a network that you're going to have to connect to, that's why I'm disabled this connection, so you don't have to disconnect and connect again. All right? The other thing I want you to do is I want you to go to connections again. You see data usage. I want you to disconnect mobile data. Turn off. Okay, so we are not using mobile data. We are not using the Wi-Fi. And also, guys, if somebody call you or anything, don't get any phone call. 
because that will interrupt the whole process. So now that we are set up pretty much like that, also another thing you need to do, go here, make sure you don't have anything else open but the app. Go to, don't close this, right? You're gonna go to settings and you're gonna search for storage. Okay, and here you can see how much storage you have on your phone. In this case, I have 35 gigs. So since I have only 35 gigs, this iPhone is gonna be capable of getting all that data here without any problem because this is 64. But that's a common problem that people have, you know, maybe you have here 32 and you have here 16. So there's no way that you can put 32 inside a 16 phone, you know? So you need to make sure that you have enough space on the iPhone to get all your data from the Android. So once we have, uh, so once we know that, again, we're gonna close anything that we're not using, we're gonna close. Another thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have enough battery for the whole transfer, especially if you have a lot of data, because the more data you have, the longer this process is gonna be. Okay, so it says, find my code, move to Android. I'm gonna click continue. And this is the code that we need to enter here. I'm gonna press continue here too, and I'm gonna put the code 052133. And look at this, move to iOS, continue to connect to the Wi-Fi network, continue. Now we are connecting to the Wi-Fi network that the iPhone created. Connect to device, connect. Okay, so now it's connecting, connection successful. You can see both devices, they are communicating to each other, waiting for the Android device. And here you can see all the data that is gonna be transferred, the Google account, messages, contacts, and camera roll. If you don't want any of this not to be transferred, you can select it, and it will not be transferred, but I'm gonna select everything, all right? So now that I select everything, we are ready to continue. And now the transfer is happening, guys. Time remaining, eight minutes. This will vary depending on how much data you have on your Android device. And here it says four minutes, and here it says 10 minutes. So I don't know who to believe, all right? You know, try to keep the device pretty close because if you decided to move your iPhone to another room, then you might mess up the whole transition, you know? Looks like it's moving faster now. Let's see guys, five minutes, seven minutes. This is taking longer than I expected. And it says eight minutes here and it says five minutes here. It says, oh, look at this, less than a minute. So it looks like it's moving faster now, guys. Time remaining one minute. Transfer complete, Wi-Fi disconnected. You saw that? But don't do anything until this one finish, all right? Just keep it like that, guys. Let's wait for the iPhone. Your data has been transferred. All data that could be transferred to this iPhone has been transferred. Note, four videos could not be transferred due to the media file format. To keep these items, you can transfer them to this iPhone manually or save them somewhere else. That's not a good thing, guys. I think those were the 8K videos. Okay, so press done here and continue setting your iPhone. You're gonna do that right now. I just wanted to let you know that all the files on the Android device, they are still there. You didn't lose anything. So if you want to go back to the Android later, that's fine. Uh, let me show you on the gallery. Those are all the pictures and videos that we want to transfer, right? Okay, so let's see what happened on the iPhone. The message I got is your data has been transferred, right? So I'm gonna continue setting up your iPhone. You're gonna need to sign into your Apple ID. I don't know if you have the two-factor authentication for Apple ID. If you do, you're gonna get a code. Let's, let's show, let me show you. You see, Apple ID verification code. A message with a verification code has been set to your other devices running iOS. In this case, I have an old iPhone that I use with the same account, and this is the code that I'm gonna have to put this. But this is only if you have the two-factor authentication on, okay? Some people don't have it. I do because it's a pretty safe way to don't let anybody access your device. Okay, terms and conditions, agree. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Express settings, we're gonna click customize settings. Keep up your iPhone up to date, continue. Location services, disable. Siri, later. Screen time, later. Analytics, don't share. True Tone display, you are seeing True Tone right now. If you press this button, this is without True Tone, okay? Continue. 
appearance. I'm just going to keep it like that. Light. Continue. Home button. Haptics. Continue. Display zoom. I'm just going to keep it at standard. Continue. And it says, welcome to iPhone. Get started. Look at this. Add your Android device apps from the App Store. Add apps. You need to press on Add Apps, okay? And here, I think the phone is going to ask me for my password again, for my Apple ID password again. Or maybe not. Yeah, right there. So you put your password, and all the apps that they were on your account are moving right now. So this might take a while, right? Depending on your internet connection. Let's wait to see how many apps are going to get moved. And in the meantime, because you can use your phone in the meantime, no problem at all, let's check on the, the pictures. And look at this, guys. These are all the pictures that I transfer from the Android device to the iPhone without any problem. I have everything here, guys, to be better. Videos, I only have one. So there are videos here that I couldn't transfer. I think it's because I record them on 8K. And maybe the, the file format was not compatible with the iPhone. That's why we got that message saying that we need to move those videos manually. Yeah, I have those videos. For example, this video. The problem with H you know? So one, two, like a couple of videos that we didn't transfer because I was using the AK features of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. We could not transfer those. That's a bummer, but we can do it manually, right? So let's check if we got the uh, contacts being transferred, right? And this is the thing. You can see that we don't have all the contacts, but probably Google is going to ask me to, yeah, right there. Enter the Google password for your Google account. Okay, so once you do that, you know, setting, want to use google.com to sign in, continue. So you're going to open a browser and you're going to have to sign in to your Google account. The same Google account that you use on your Android. So you can have the same contacts. So once you log into your Google account, and then you go to um, contacts, you should see all your contacts from your Google account. So you are not going to lose any contacts, guys. You just have to sign into your Google account. How about the apps? So look at the apps. What's up? Look at all the apps, guys. So this is saving us a lot of time because we don't have to go to the Apple Store and download them one by one. Guys, just for you to know, WhatsApp is not going to transfer your chat history or pictures or, or videos. You need to do that using a paid software. And I have reviews about a couple of them. I'm going to put a link on the description so you can take a look. But no, it did not move anything. If you open WhatsApp, you're going to have to authenticate it again, meaning you need to put your phone number, get a code and stuff like that, you know. A couple of details, guys. The last update for this app was done on May 3rd, 2021. And you can read clearly here. Resolve an issue transferring data from some Huawei, Vivo, and Oppo phones. So if you have any of these phones, chances are you might have a problem. But according to this, they fix those problems. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is this. Uh, there's a feature on Android devices called a Smart Network Switch. It's a feature on Android phones that allow your phone to automatically switch between Wi-Fi and mobile networks. The Sprint Connections Optimizer or the Smart Network Switch. Those are things that might create problems for this. And I think that's it, right? We transfer videos, pictures, contacts, calendars also. All the stuff you can transfer from the Android to the iPhone. So guys, I think that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. In that way, you're going to help me creating more videos for you. Take care and see you soon. Bye.